Hi guys, welcome back to my second part of the height gorge for the Bosch GTS 10XC. If you missed part one, I will place a link in the corner or this corner. And um, today I want to show you um, how to calculate the, the, the distance with the sharp sensor and how it looks in, in code. So let's get started. First of all, we need to attach our construction a little bit more permanently. Ow. So, to calculate the result afterwards and the distance right, um, I first created an Arduino sketch with this loop function here. First of all, I defined an integer variable called sensor sum, and then I iterate 10 times here um, to get the analog value from the sensor and save the result into sensor sum. Um, important is the delay of 50 milliseconds because the sensor need at least I think uh, 50, 50 milliseconds to, to get a new value. Afterwards I um, calculate the result um, and I divide the sensor sum by 10 because we had 10 iterations and then I get, I get an average a measurement um, from the sensor value. And then um, the last thing is here I print it on the console and write it down for later use. It works like this you um, put your blade up to um, the maximum height. Uh, for the Bosch GTS 10 xc it's 8 centimeters uh, or 80 millimeters. Um, then you start your, your Arduino program. And then the calculation is running, and then you get a result here. Um, you write it down, uh, and so on and so on. And then you have maybe five to six different results for a height of 18 millimeters. Then you lower the blade to 75 millimeters. And again, looking for the results and write it down. After you reach 5 millimeters, um, you're done. And we come to the next part to calculate the result in Excel. Okay, I created this Excel sheet where you can see my results. I have the analog values and also the distances. So, for example, I set the blade height to 20 millimeters 
and as a result I get this analog values between 194 and 199. So the next thing what we need to do is um, build a chart out of your data. So just say insert get a and now we say um, let's see select data um, let's select the data source that's the analog value and the distance but we don't need the zero heights calculation so we just take the rest this there you go So on the y-axis, um, you see the, the distance and on the x-axis, you see the, the measurement from the analog sensor. Um, but that, that is a kind of a problem because how you see, it's not linear. So we cannot use the map function or something so we have to come up with something different here to solve that problem what we need to do now is add a trend line to the chart something like this but keep in mind we don't cannot use a linear trend line here um, you'll find other videos on the internet or on YouTube where people use the linear trend here to with the sensor and yeah that's that's wrong that's completely wrong you can't do it like this um, so what you need to do is say more options and what we need is a polynomial trend line that looks promising now we add set the order to 4 or to 5 what fits best for your curve uh, 4 is enough for me and you always also want to set display equation on chart So there you go. This is our result. Now we need to change the display type to scientific. Therefore we say label options category scientific. And you also want to add more decimal places here to get a more exact result. Okay, next step would be bring our results back to our IDE and work with it. So to get the real height or the real distance from the sensor to the motor, I uh, used uh, a library, the sharp distance library. Um, you will find a link in the description. Um, and also Julian helped me a little bit. Julian, thank you for that. Um, here to set everything up. Um, this thing is pretty simple. We just need to define um, our sensor pin. And here we define um, the, the filter size. And 
there we go. Here are our results from the Excel sheet. So what you also need is um, the, a number of how many results you got. Uh, my example here, this is uh, five. And you also need um, the minimum and maximal values um, for your measurements that you have written down in your Excel sheet. Then it's just to define the sensor with this function here. And in the setup function, um, you calibrate the sensor with the with the polyfit coefficient with the variables you def defined here, um, earlier. And in the loop, it's really simple. Just get the distance as an unsigned int. And the function sensor get this will return the distance to the next object in millimeter. And then here I print it to the console. Pretty straightforward. That works perfect. The signal is still a little bit noisy, but we'll tackle this problem later on. Yeah, this was a lot of theory, I know. But please stay with me. In the final part, we will um, have a look at the final design. And we will also attach this our construction permanently to the saw. We will get rid of the big Arduino Uno and put in an Arduino Pro Mini. And yeah, if you like what I do, please consider subscribing or give me a thumbs up. And I hope I see you in part three.